Well, that was a bumpy crash. Don't know for the ground being off me, but should have brought it down over there. Tail gonna bust. I think I'm gonna go back to quads. Oh, well, that's one reason why you should always carry a hot glue gun that you can connect up to a light bulb. And as you can see, hopefully, all it is is that that's the only damage. The only damage that's been done. So I'll hot glue that and then I'll uh, just not use the rudder in my next flight. Obviously, before my next flight, I'll double check everything, but I'll just get that glued on first. You're gonna burn your finger. Not too bad. I'll just. For extra. And on the other side. Just a couple of blobs. Hmm, looks like that fin came loose a little bit as well. Go that a blob. Right. Now them pilots and ground crew. Yeah. You saw the flight. You saw the bad landing. Hit a bumper somewhere over there. She tipped up. Broke the rudder, vertical stabilizer. But luckily. Full kit, carry a hot glue gun, we've done it cracked at the top, I'll show you in the video. So glued her back together and uh, we'll be off for uh, another flight in a few minutes, just letting that glue dry nice and solid. So that's a good reason to carry uh, tools when you go flying, if not I'd have had to go bloody home to get it done there. Anyhow, so she should be back in the air in a few minutes and uh, hopefully no more problems try and find a different landing area this time maybe a little bit uh, further out or further in but definitely not that way okay then guys and gals guys and gals back to the 50s guys and gals <laughs> all 60s all right well thanks for watching and uh, let's get her back in the air again
and then gear up. Flap her arms up. Well, still at the grass. She only knows Dover a little bit, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> and you think how thick this grass is? I mean, just look at the wheels, they're buried. Lap around, still working. And no damage, hopefully. Oh! Oh bloody hell, my left wheels! I'll have to check them. Oh hi, I got bent. Bloody hell! <sighs> that is the one problem with this plane, no suspension. on the landing gear. Well pilots and ground crew, hope you enjoyed that flight, the F4U Corsair. Uh, as you saw, I had the bumpy landing on my first landing. And the grass is, actually, it, it, it is quite long. It, it doesn't really show on the video. I know that's not me making an excuse. It is quite long, too long for this plane really. That's why I've been flying my Pandora, it's got huge wheels. But I uh, had that bit of a bumpy landing, she flipped up, broke the uh, vertical stable at the rudder. But that's a good reason why you should always carry a toolkit and get yourself a hot glue gun and a soldering iron that you can plug into a lipo. They're not expensive, you can pick them up on eBay, the hot glue guns, for about, I think about six, six quid, something like that. But like then, if I didn't have it with me, it'd have been a case of uh, go home. But as it was, I managed to get the hot glue gun on the rudder, seal it in and get another flight in. And I would have got a couple more in, but on that second landing, once again, the grass is too long for them, that landing gear. But on the second landing, a bit bumpy, which was my fault, obviously. And uh, I think it bent the uh, the right wing or the left wing landing gear slightly it would still fly and probably still land but when it's bent it's bent and it's not worth the risk of causing more damage to your model and that unfortunately is something i cannot repair at the field no i have to strip that all off and uh, either put a new one on or we have spares but uh, I'll probably just see how bad it is, might be able to straighten it in the vents and whack it back on again. Yeah, the F4U Corsair, she flies great. But you do need either a runway or very short grass. The wheels, the landing gear are not very forgiving, as you saw in the video. Anyhow, she's a brilliant plane, and uh, thanks for watching. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this short video, and thanks for watching. Cheers pilots and ground crew.